behind you, we see the hustle plays, we see the non-stat plays, we see the plays that are small and help a team win. How many of those do you have this season, Theo? I mean, a good amount. Uh, do you lead the team in those categories? Uh, that's a great question. I'm not sure, though. Uh, that's probably a question for Todd. What do you think when you see those up there? I mean, they're plays that uh, we need to see more of. Um, there's been a lot, I mean, like you can see, there's a lot of them up there, and uh, they're just toughness plays that are ultimately what will win or lose this game. John with the block shot. Nothing but white jerseys there, nowhere to go. We're in the weight room. I know it's one of your favorite places on campus. It's one of your favorite places in the Al McGuire Center. But overall, how has Marquette's approach to strength benefited you? Uh, tremendously. I mean, I've came in, I came in here like 6'8", 230 probably, and now I'm like 6'9", 255, 260, and it's, I mean, it gives you a huge advantage on the court, and our our staff here that is working with us every day is just, I mean, above and beyond. And as much as you talk about eating weights, it's, it's more than that. It's a scientific approach, it's a measured approach that's put in place. How interesting is it to watch what they do to make sure that you all are doing the right things? They keep track of everything. They do so much, and lots of times we have no clue what they're talking about. Uh, but we see the results, and we see uh, our bodies change, and um, kind of our playing change on the court, too. And uh, we just try to do as much as we can. The dynamic of big men has been a different look for Marquette basketball. How do you all work together? I mean, we, we're all trying to win the game, uh, so whatever your strength is, uh, that's what you do to the best of your ability, and just try to go out there and whether it's grab rebounds, block shots, or just be a big presence. Uh, whatever it is, we, we're going to try to do it to our best. Steele's one guy, but he's huge. One thing that you two have in common has been dealing with injuries. How challenging has it been? I mean, it's, it's really frustrating knowing that um, you're not at 100% when you're out there, um, but it's it's just a mental toughness thing. You gotta uh, play through it, be there for your teammates, and just at the end of the day, try to try to get the win. So how do you foster that mental toughness? I try to stay external and try to think of my teammates as much as possible. Uh, the, the minute you get into your own head and worrying about yourself is the minute that you lose. So. We talk about Stan Johnson and his impact on recruiting, but he's a coach that works with your group. What's he like as a coach? Uh, he's intense. Uh, he has a lot of passion and love for the game, and um, he's always trying to be uh, at the top of his game as a coach. And whether that's watching film with you, uh, doing individual workouts on the side, uh, he's always trying to make you better and make the team better. Personally, I love the way that you celebrate a big play. I love the emotion. There's no holding back. And you're not ashamed to show that. Why? That's basketball. Uh, it's a miracle in that ball, and it's, uh, it brings out the best of us. So. There's a lot of season to go. There's still a lot of balance on this team. What's going to be the key to success? Our individual pride and intensity on a daily basis, I think. Uh, we need to just bring it every day and uh, making sure that we're doing everything that we can to win. All right, Theo, what is the newest ink that you're sporting this season? <laughs> uh, well, I finished my sleeve. Um, this summer, uh, the upper half. Last year, I just had the lower half of it. Uh, so really everything from here on up. Uh, I think you're still the top guy on the team in this category. Who else has stepped up their tattoo game? I say I'm proud of Kobe. Uh, he, when he originally came here, he was saying that he was, wasn't that guy. He wasn't gonna get any ink, but uh, I think we had a positive in influence on him and he has a few tattoos now, so I'm, I'm proud of him. <laughs>